Welcome everybody to our show. This is Custom Fab Garage on our channel Octane TV on YouTube. Make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button. And on top of that, make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you can get all the new content that comes out weekly and even every day. Today we're gonna to be doing this 2021 Ford Bronco Sport. We're gonna be doing new speakers and also a sub and an amp. All right, we're gonna start with these rear door panels on this 2021 Bronco Sport. We're gonna show you how to remove those. Um, first things first, right here, you're gonna have to remove this panel right here. Take your hook tool and pull this piece out. Okay, so we basically pulled up on this piece here with our plastic pry tool here. And we pried up on it until it finally came out. And then you have this little piece that hangs out underneath here. And then you'll wanna unplug this plug right here. The back side, so you can see where all the clips are. And you wanna be super careful when you're pulling this out. Just push on it ever so slightly. Don't just yank on it or hit it real hard. Inside of here, you're gonna have a 10 millimeter here and a 10 millimeter here. These are the two 10 millimeters you're gonna take out and they have some extremely aggressive thread pattern and they're in there extremely tight so it will take some power to get them out of there it's here to the bottom of the door panel we're also going to have a looks like a seven and there's also one over towards the front over here it's kind of hard to see because i can't get in there but there's another one right here and there's one right so basically you have one here and one over here underneath the door panel. To get this bad boy out over here because of the angle that it's at is I had to use this because you can't get a drill in here and you have to use an extension because it sticks back in here so far. I mean, it's literally, that's how big my thumb is. That's how far it back is. But you can't get the drill in here, it'll hit. So I just use a right angle right here and it is a seven millimeter and then you have a seven millimeter here. I'll show you what those look like. And here's what the seven millimeter that looks like that comes out of there. You have two of them. We're gonna take this reflector off and it's pretty easy. You can just slide your nail right in there and pop, boom, and then get that bad boy out of there. Just make sure you wanna go on this side right here and just be very gentle with it. I believe inside of there, yep, there's another seven millimeter way back in there. The best scenario is to use this because it's so far back in there as well. Here's a seven millimeter that came out of there. So I will tell you, this piece right here is a nightmare because it is so tight in here, there's no way to get it off. What I did was I pushed really hard right here and it, pop, it popped this part back with the two clips on it. So I basically just put a lot of pressure right here and then it pushed like this and went out. So I'm not gonna say that's the right way to do it or that's gonna work every time, but you have to get to this bolt back here. So this bolt right here, believe it or not, is an eight millimeter. So you've got 10 millimeters, seven millimeters, eight millimeters. Ford is notorious for that. I mean, it's like you couldn't just use one size bolt. Here's the bolt you're gonna take out, which is an eight millimeter. Not to be confused with 10 millimeter, not to be confused with seven millimeter. So Ford, for God's sakes, stop doing this. You've done it for years. All right, so we went ahead and just pulled. You just get your fingers behind here anywhere and just pull, the whole door panel will come off. Get the whole door panel you'll have to raise up to pull down and then you will be left with all of these connections in the back this piece comes off well at least at least at least the way it used to yeah you just pull out and then boom it comes off so and then when you want to put it back in you just basically slide it back in there um and this this harness is disconnected here so that's pretty much it i'm pulling it off there's the back side so you can kind of see all the connectors and how it attaches and detaches. A ton of sound dampening, let me tell you. This is the actual back side of the door panel. And this is your lovely factory speaker. So 
So this is the plug here. It's a green with brown, it looks like, and gray with purple. This is the plug. We're gonna show you the adapter that we use to plug right into this. We are also gonna use a Ford adapter to unbolt this and rebolt our speaker in. So that way we keep everything looking OEM and it will unbolt if she ever wants to take it back out. We try not to cut up anybody's factory speakers or try to use anything other than just using actual speaker harnesses and speaker adapters because to me that's the correct way to do it so it can always go back to OEM. So these bolts that they have on the speaker are a seven millimeter. This is your factory lovely beautiful speaker from Ford. And look at the size of that magnet. 25 watts at 4 ohm. Do, we're gonna be using these speaker adapters today from Metra, they are an 8825605, and from Harmony, they are a HA825605. So basically they're gonna be the same part number, but one is made by Harmony, one is made by Metra. I have both of them today, I'm gonna to use these. So I'm gonna put the links down below on what you can use for both of these as well. They're both about the same price and both about the same quality, so. Your only thing you're probably going to fight with is which one is in stock and which one you can get faster. But these are the speaker adapters we're going to be using to mount the speakers today. This is the speaker harness we're going to be using. It's a 7256.02. This is what it looks like right here. And then you're going to plug that into the actual plug right here. And then that will just slide right in and give you your speaker harness right there we're going to be using today these are the audio dynamics we're going to be using these speakers in the rear and we're going to be going with the 2000 series in the front these are the 1000 series for the rears coaxial and then we're going to be showing you how to put those into the speaker adapters and the wiring harnesses as well the connector we got that connected we drilled a hole through here so you can run the wire through because the plug is on the outside We went ahead and mounted this back in here. And there's plenty of depth because the window doesn't go down to where this hole is. So we have this hole here that we put through so our harness can go through right there. I'm gonna put some dynamite right here over the top of that. This is our factory plug, we're gonna zip tie this in. This is your actual speaker wire harness. That's the factory speaker wire. That's pretty much it to get her in there. So we have this on here, we have this zip tied in. We did some foam over here so the hole won't leak. Um, pretty much everything's ready. We're gonna put the door panel back on. Thank <laughs> you. 